Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at the CFC Barbecue in downtown Toronto. I'm here with Hank Vanderkoek, one of the original founders of the Toronto International Film Festival. What are you most excited about for today here at the CFC celebrating Canadian film? All the people I, I meet again, this is the place to meet them, right? I mean, Norm Jewison has had this party first on his farm out in Caledon Hills somewhere, and then it came over here, and it's become a, yeah, a classic at the festival. It's a must be there. Uh, I wasn't even on the list, however, this year. There, there, you know, there's you get you get old enough, you set up to find yourself falling off lists. You, you can but get into any tip I make party. A big effort. I make a big effort to get my invitation and get on the list. This is a good one, yeah. And having been one of the founders of the Toronto International Film Festival, which has become one of the largest, if not the largest in the world, as well as the Panama Film Festival, which has really taken off, what is the secret to starting a world-class film festival? A love at film and a passion for production, I think. Starting a film festival is not unlike starting a film. You need tremendous level of uh, collaboration, but also to talented people. And I love talented people. Uh, so all the people I've ever worked with have been a whole lot smarter about all this stuff than I ever have been. And, and these things happen. And of course, having done Toronto, uh, Panama, who were playing around with the idea of perhaps getting more involved in the film arts, uh, thought I was a guru. <laughs> and I said, oh yeah, that's fine, so let's do it. And um, I think we got the first ever uh, grants that were granted by the, the government in Panama for a, a, an artistic endeavor. They just haven't been supporting the arts. And since that year, in 2012, when we started, uh, that is built up. There are all sorts of starts for films. Uh, the kids think they can be in the film business. It's very much like Toronto in 1976, when there was a tremendous uh, excitement generated by the fact that we were going to be players rather than just, you know, uh, a, a, a market, one of the markets for the United States. And as you might remember, oh no, you wouldn't remember. This is before your time, for Pete's sake. <laughs> But in the first year in Toronto, the Americans never showed up. Right? They, they didn't think we had any business starting a film festival. And Panama was very different in that regard, in that I was received with open arms. I got a big chunk of money from the government. And the papers were just all very excited about it. It's a very small country, you know. So it's, it, I was a big fish in a very small pond, which was kind of fun. As I was fading here, I was gaining there. And when you come back to TIFF and you see how much it's grown, do you ever feel like emotional or, you know, that it's just your babies become this huge sensation? Frankly, no, I become emotional thinking back to the early years. But this has gone so much beyond anything we ever planned or envisioned. It wasn't like we had a vision for this yeah. enormous whoopee, you know? Yeah. And the people that have been working on it for the last 39 years have been super talented. And it's much because of them, I think, that it's become such a big hello. I think I'm proud of the idea still. And we worked hard, but we did it for a reason back then. You know, we wanted the world to recognize that we were film producers and that we were going to be a film producing nation. Um, and that's worked, and I think it's going to work again in Panama. You know, film uh, film festivals are a tremendous stimulant for all sorts of other endeavors in the film industry, you know, in the arts generally. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, and congratulations. It's great to see you again. Nice to see you. Thank, thank you. you.